Hey, hello there. BQ here with the King of the Mountain podcast YouTube channel, and we're talking the injury to Rosemary last night at Triple Mania at the hands of Sexy Star. If you clicked on this link because you want to see the clip of the injury, what I'm going to do for you in the description here, I'm going to paste the link. A lot of people don't want to see it, but a lot of people obviously do. I'm not promoting the injury or anything like that, but obviously people want to see the injury and want to see the link. So it is going to be in a description. You can click on it. And But before you go down there, make sure you hit the subscribe button, especially if you're here as a Global Force Wrestling fan looking for a great channel. To cater to your needs, please hit the subscribe button. So um, I didn't watch Triple Mania last night. I fully intended on it, but I went to a local independent wrestling show last night. ACH was the headliner. My kid wanted to meet him. So family first. So we went to NWL in St. Louis. Had a great time. And ACH was real cool. And I'm going to put this out there right now. He is not a part of the Global Force Wrestling roster. I talked with him. He was supposed to be at this past set of tapings. But it did not work out. So he said he's basically a freelancer at the moment. So basically what I got from him is that he's... he's I, I think there's plans going forward, but right now that's not the case. Anyway, we're talking Rosemary. On the way home from the fight, I was expecting to see, um, or from not the fight, but the, uh, it's called fight night, but the wrestling event. I came home and uh, I was expecting to see a bunch of Mayweather and McGregor on my Twitter feed. And I did, don't get me wrong. But then I saw something else that was very disturbing and it was the... Injury to Rosemary at the hands of Sexy Star. She had her in an arm bar, yanked on it, yanked on it, wouldn't let go. It, Rosemary's in legitimate pain. She's really tapping out. This isn't the tap out from Slammiversary. She was legitimately tapping out. Let's talk about this arm bar real quick. I used to teach this arm bar in the military. I taught a uh, beginner's level combatives class that troops would go through before they went overseas. This was one of the moves we taught. I never bought this from El Patron as a finisher because I know in real life it hurts very badly and usually tap out immediately. But the reason people don't tap out when El Patron does it is because he keeps the opponent's wrist flat. So if you're the, the front or the back of your wrist is facing down, you're not going to feel any pain from this move. If your thumb so just picture that your thumb is straight up in the air when that move is on. It is excruciating pain that you will tap out within w w once it's applied within like one or two seconds. Unless you're double jointed, you will tap out. So I know firsthand how this move feels. I cannot imagine it being locked in it that long with someone yanking on my arm. This girl has got to be hurting. She had to be in a lot of pain. From what I understand, and I don't have any insider information, I have no information different than what you guys have. So, but in the con without being said in the comments, you know, bitch moan complain, whatever. <laughs> I just go off, let it all go in the comments. Let's have a conversation. Some of you guys watched the match. From what I understand, the match was stiff. There was a lot of no selling and shooting going on. One person even went as far to blame Rosemary and, uh, I'm going to respect that opinion because I'm going to watch the match and make my own determination. I highly doubt it was her fault because she's not an unsafe worker, but I'm going to watch it and respect the opinion, like I said. Um, so this move right here, <laughs> I, I, I can't even imagine the pain that she's in. From what I'm understanding, she she's not a, going to miss any ring time, that they were able to pop it back in place. And apparently there was a apology backstage. I don't know if I, I don't know how accurate that information is. I thought it said Conan set it up, but I thought Conan was not uh, involved with AAA. So I don't know about that. If there was, we don't know how sincere the apology was. I don't know what kind of condition Rosemary was in for that apology. She's got to be in a lot of pain. So I don't know, guys. Um, we're going to see. Some people have gone as far to say that they're not going to watch AAA ever again or support AAA. 
I, I don't want you guys, I mean, do what you guys want. But I don't want you guys to hop on that train just yet because we had a situation with El Patron and Paige where a lot of people were talking about, I'm not going to watch the company because he's a woman, woman, woman beater, whatever. And, you know, we didn't appreciate people coming at us like that. So we kind of want to re return that favor, so to speak, to AAA. Um, and I'm not condoning the injury, but what I'm saying, it's not AAA's fault. It's it's 100% sexy star for injuring her. Now, with this being said, how is AAA going to handle it? It's not that, you know, they have a working relationship. And just like GFW handled the El Patron situation the right way, we've got to trust that AAA is going to handle the sexy star situation. So, you know, before you guys hop on that train, if you guys want to boycott them, boycott them. But I'm just going to say for the sake of, you know, supporting professional wrestling. And I don't know a whole lot about what goes on behind the scenes with AAA. I know Conan has issues. Taya has issues. Um, I'm not, I'm not too educated on that. So if you guys want to drop some of that knowledge on me in the, in the comments, please feel free. But I'm not really uh, really up on it. What this reminded me of, I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with this. There was a stardom match probably a couple years ago. And it, it was Yoshiko versus Yasukawa, two females. And Yasukawa was supposed to take the title off Yoshiko. And because she's like she was like the rising star, the real popular wrestler. And there was jealousy there. And about two, three minutes into the match, Yoshiko goes into business for herself and starts beating the girl up. It's graphic. And I think she broke her eye socket, broke her nose, gave her a concussion. And Yasukawa actually tried to finish the match. But they, you know, they obviously called it. And I know at the time they said she would never wrestle again due to those injuries. I'm almost positive when I listened to Vince Russo's podcast last year that they said she she did wrestle again I do I'm, I'm gonna look into that but you know that was another situation where someone went into business for themselves and caused a great deal of, of injury now what happened to Rosemary was not to that extent but I'm gonna put it like this you know again someone said that you know it was Rosemary's fault um, I'm seeing a lot of wrestlers online tweeting support and tweeting uh, about the unsafe act and the unprofessionalism that happened at AAA. And I'm not talking Jimmy Superstar from down the street. I mean, some of the bigger independent stars. Joey Ryan, who works with her, put a uh, really nice tweet out and, you know, paraphrasing said that, with you know, they put each other's well-beings, they put their well-being in the hand of their opponent, their health in the hands of their opponent. And if you break that trust, you're not one of us. You're not one of the boys, one of the girls. So Sexy Star, she was, you know, she was causing some issues. I don't, I don't say causing issues, but she wasn't making friends as of late. And this is not going to help her at all. But, but again, let's see how AAA handles this. I actually saw one fan on a in a forum say that they wish she got injured, so that she could miss time. And maybe come back with a not so tired gimmick. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, the one person who dislikes Rosemary, even the WWE fans like Rosemary, bullshit, you know. Um, so I hope you guys are tweeting your support at Rosemary, whatever social media you have. I hope you guys are letting her know how much you appreciate her. If you guys haven't seen my vlog about Rosemary defending GFW, I'm going to put it in the description here as well. She. Step forward. She's one of the few, her and Sienna, that have stepped forward against the, the trolls and the come to the WWE bullshit comments and all that. They have stepped forward, let people know that Global Force Wrestling is their home. That is a company that uh, fully believed in them and they respect them for that. And we respect the wrestlers for that. So that's all I've got guys please um in the comments I really want to hear your thoughts again I have no insider information I'm just basically speaking my thoughts here and I want to know your guys thoughts so please hit subscribe on the channel and I will talk to you guys soon